people come to designers and they have an existing logo and they want, they, they want to change, they want a new logo, one of the first questions I'll always ask, and I'll ask it over and over and over again until I feel like I'm getting the whole answer, is like, what's wrong with what you've got now? Why do you want to change this? Figure out what, what's the best of what you do. What's, what's the very idealized image you have of your organization, your institution, and its purpose on earth? And kind of use that as the starting point of the work you do. But don't expect every aspect of that idealistic view to kind of be embedded in the, um, the work you're commissioning. The introduction that this work will represent is really just an introduction, just the first word of a conversation that hopefully will last many years. The most respected, probably, uh, American graphic designer in history is a guy named Paul Rand, who was a Yale professor and famous for designing the... Uh, IBM logo and the ABC logo and the UPS logo and the Westinghouse logo, among many others. And he once said that a good logo has um, the pleasure of recognition and the promise of meaning. So when you see it, it's something memorable about it, sort of like attracts you to it. But then also it has the promise of meaning. That's like the pursuit of happiness. You know, you're not guaranteed happiness. You're guaranteed the right to pursue happiness. And I think these logos don't guarantee meaning, but they sort of hold within them the promise of meaning. And in a way, that's the compact that any organization and enters into with uh, the world at large. If you are going to be public, if you're going to represent yourself, you really are offering up something that people can engage with, but also can criticize. People now have come to understand that, um, that any logo or symbol is really just a starting point, and that in fact, um, more and more these days, the general public wants to have a say in what that logo means. And I think having comfort with that and realizing in a way that that's the real work of branding is the most important thing to know about it.